ओम सांते दिस इज द साकार मुरले ऑफ नाइन ऑफ नवंबर 2022 एसेंस स्वीट चिल्ड्रन द फादर्स डायरेक्शंस एंड एडवाइस फॉर ब्रिंगिंग अबाउट लिबरेशन एंड सेल्वेशन आर यूनिक एंड दिस इज व्हाई इट इज संग Only you know your ways and means. He himself gives you his directions. Question: Who have the right to be called Brahma Kumars and Kumaris? What is their nature like? Answer: Those who are sweet and loving like the father who never have any conflict of opinion have the right to be called brahma kumars and kumaris the nature of a bk should be very very sweet there shouldn't be the slightest bitterness or body consciousness inside him or her song salutations to shiva om shanti the unlimited father explains to all the lights of his eyes at all the centers the children at the centers will be able to hear and understand what the father explains look in this world everyone has dislike for everyone there are people from so many religions they all fight and quarrel with one another this is ravan's kingdom it is now to end people don't know this and they continue to call out O purifier remover of sorrow and restorer of happiness O liberator come everyone has sorrow the intellect says this place cannot be called heaven everyone remembers heaven so it is surely now hell there definitely was the new world after that peace the world of happiness will definitely come there there won't be any name or dress of this land of sorrow there is now no name or dress of happiness or peace 5000 years ago there was the land of happiness all the rest of the souls resided in the land of peace you understand this now because the supreme father the supreme soul has explained it to you it is said may god give you sense they wouldn't say brahma vishnu shankar give us good sense they mention the name of god alone so there definitely is that one being only at this time must god have given his directions and he must have given them by coming here and entering a corporeal form it is written that shrimat is the versions of god but they have put krishna's name in fact they are the directions of incorporeal god therefore the new world must definitely have been established god did not go around the whole world neither can the whole world come to the god nor can he go to every one not everyone can come personally in in front of god 
there are so many human beings when an eminent person comes not everyone would be able to see him the father comes and gives liberation and salvation to all of those human souls the land of peace is separate from the land of happiness there isn't any peacelessness in the land of happiness then in the land of sorrow there isn't any peace the father explains all of these things they are not mentioned in any of the scriptures god is called knowledgeful he knows everything his directions for liberation and salvation are unique it is sung oh god only you know your ways and means we can only know them when you tell us them therefore he surely has to come here how else would he grant salvation he is the bestower of salvation and the father of all all are brothers they are not all fathers this is something to be understood however they have accepted whatever those with devilish dictates have told them all are all are subservient to devilish dictates you now have so much enlightenment even lakshmi and narayan who attained such great salvation didn't have this knowledge the father is trikal darshi and you attain that kingdom from him whom does the father come and make trikal darshi he surely makes the children that he teaches the real children and others would learn from them brahma is the father's child and you brahmins are the children of brahma the children of vishnu or shankar is not said prajapita brahma is remembered so this brahma is a father and shiva is also the father both are fathers the world would surely be created through brahma it is remembered that brahmins were created through brahma there are now innumerable religions of human beings but at one time there was only one religion of human beings this refers to human beings it cannot refer to animals baba has explained the first question to ask them is who is the purifier is it the supreme father the supreme soul or is it the water of the ganges make a decision they will then be liberated from wandering to the melas etc they say purifier and so their intellects go upwards by saying that the ganges is the purifier their intellects go to water they have heard of the nectar of knowledge and so they consider the water of the ganges to be nectar therefore this is a most important question baba tells you many methods but you should at least remember some of them children right that many people were impressed however nothing sits in their intellects they just understand that the brahma kumari is so a very good path 
As soon as they go back home, everything ends. This is why when people come to the exhibitions, you should explain each thing clearly and make them write it down. Hundreds of people come, but not even one thing sits in anyone's intellect. Baba doesn't receive news that you gave lectures on these main topics. This is a school. Therefore, when a teacher asks a question, students have to reply. If you ask them as a teacher, they would reply to you. You children become very happy. You children also have to explain about the stages of ascent and descent. Some went into liberation and others went into liberation in life and so everyone benefited. It was this days of ascent for everyone. The Satopradhan people who were in the golden age definitely had to come down to the Tamopradhan days. Therefore, you should, you should also show that there is the stage of descent from the copper age. You have a slide about the stage of ascent and the stage of descent. But some children don't explain that. You should ask them everything. This is a study and so you should sit there as a teacher. However, if you give a lecture and become a stage secretary that is common, here you have to ask everything. Is the bestower of salvation, the purifier father, one or he is omnipresent? If he is omnipresent, then tell me how can he be the father? Is the God of the Gita the purifier, the ocean of knowledge or is it Sri Krishna? Whom would you call God? It would surely be the incorporeal one. It, would, it was because of this that the Gita was falsified. When the Gita, the mother and father become false, all the scriptures also become false. You can prove to them that the whole world is false. All have stone intellects. Those with divine intellects only exist in the golden age. It is because all now have stone intellects that Baba comes and makes them into those with divine intellects. Now that it is the end of the world. Those who had divine intellects have become those with stone intellects. We cannot say of the middle period that we have degraded intellects or that we are Tamopadhan. Everyone becomes Tamupadhan by the end. When Christianity came, it couldn't be said that they were Tamuguni. No, they too have to pass through the stages of Sato, Rajo and Tamu. At this time, the whole tree has reached a state of total decay and has to be destroyed. You have to give a very good lecture on this. You mustn't just say whatever comes into your mind. Write this riddle in big writing so that everyone can read it. Is the God of the Gita the one who is free from rebirth? The ocean of knowledge, the supreme father, the supreme soul? Or is it Sri Krishna? God created the Gita and purified the impure. People remember him. The Krishna soul is now becoming pure. You don't take up this topic. 
many people have a dialogue about the five vices you should do service at a fast speed some consider themselves to be very clever but you should think about how you can become clever as yet you are still weak you have to give individual invitations to all the merchants and those of all the different religions the ram krishna society is big harijans brackets untouchables also have an association give an invitation to their leaders and invite them here there should be someone who does this type of work and stays busy doing that you have to discuss this among yourselves the father gives you shrimat you have to take up this main subject in the probe you mothers should challenge others very well and not become weak however some brahmins too are not able to get on with one another because of some difference of opinion they don't even speak to one another they have a lot of body consciousness you have to become worthy of going to the kingdom of rama that is god's kingdom those with devilish natures cannot stay there they don't even have the right to be called bkes the father is so sweet and lovely and so you should become like the father some children become so bitter the father says such ones are like wild thorns you should question them about everything individually and then make them write it down is the supreme soul or is the ganges of is or is the ganges the purifier is the bestower of salvation for all the supreme soul or is it the water of the ganges you should make such pictures you can also have such riddles in the projectors now judge for yourself who the god of the gita is the father gives you directions first of all prove the main thing if you know alpha you will come to know everything by knowing the seed you will come to know the tree you children have to make a lot of effort people just say that the bks do very good service therefore people should take benefit from that but not a single person comes acha to the sweetest beloved long lost and now found children love remembrance and good morning from the mother the father bap dada the spiritual father says namaste to the spiritual children and the spiritual children says namaste to the spiritual father essence for dhyana number 1 discuss among yourselves how to do service at a fast speed never have any conflict of opinion second become a teacher and give everyone the recognition of alpha explain to everyone the significance of the stages of ascent and descent ask everyone riddles of knowledge and prove the truth blessing may you become worthy of receiving everyone's blessing by sharing the treasures of happiness as the as a master bestower at the present time 
Everyone needs imperishable happiness. They are begging for happiness. Whereas you are children of the West Tower. The duty of the children of the West Tower is to bestow. Continue to give happiness to whoever comes into contact or relationship with you. Remain so full that no one goes away empty. At every moment, check whether you are giving something as a master with tower or whether you are just happy with yourself. The more you give to others, the more you will become worthy of receiving their blessings and these blessings will make you an easy effort maker. Slogan Remember the attainments of the confluence is and you will not remember things of sorrow or worry. Om Shanti Invaluable Virgins of Mateswari Number 1 To chant Om means to continue to chant the mantra of Om. When we say the word Om, it does not mean that we have to speak out loudly the word Om. There cannot be any benefit in life simply by saying Om. But we do have to stabilize ourselves in the meaning of the word Om. By knowing the meaning of the word Om, people are able to attain that peace. People definitely want to have peace. They have many conferences to establish that peace. But the result seen of those is that there are more reasons for peacelessness and sorrow. The main reason is that until human souls have destroyed the five vices, there can never be peace in the world. So people first have to control their five vices and connect the string of their lives to God. For only then will peace be established. So people should ask themselves, have I destroyed my five vices? Have I tried to conquer them? If people ask how they can control their five vices, they are shown this method. They first have to be given the incense of knowledge and yoga together with that God's elevated versions are connect the yoga of your intellect to me take power from me and remember me Prabhu the almighty authority and devices will then continue to be removed there now has to be this much spiritual endeavor. God himself comes and teaches us this. Second, only God knows the ways and means to attain salvation from God. Only you know your ways and means. In whose memorial do they sing this praise? 
God alone knows his ways of granting salvation. People do not know. People simply want to have peace at all times. But how can they find that peace? Until people burn their five vices and make their actions neutral, they cannot receive that happiness. Because the philosophy of action, neutral action and sinful action is very deep and no human being can know this method. Only God knows it. Until God comes and speaks about that liberation, till then humans cannot attain liberation in life. This is why people say, only you know your ways and means. That God has the directions to grant salvation to someone. How do you make your actions neutral? It is God's duty to give these teachings. But human beings don't even have this knowledge due to which they continue to perform wrong actions. The first duty of human beings is to reform their actions. For only then will they be able to take the full benefit of a human life. Acha. Om Shanti.